you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you and welcome back. Today I will be making my pumpkin pie cheesecake. For the crust of my cheesecake, you will need two cups of crumbled graham crackers, and that is just one sleeve of the graham crackers, fourth a cup of white sugar, and five tablespoons of unsalted butter. For the filling, you will need one cup of heavy cream, two thirds cup brown sugar, two teaspoons vanilla, a half a tablespoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of ginger, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of allspice, one eighth teaspoon of the Chinese five spice, two whole eggs, one cup of pumpkin puree, two thirds cup of white sugar, and an eight ounce package of cream cheese. To start the recipe, we are going to take our five tablespoons of unsalted butter and we are going to microwave it until it is melted. Now that I have my butter melted, it took about 30 seconds in the microwave, we are going to start our crust. To start the crust, first we are going to take our graham cracker that has been crumbled and put our fourth a cup of sugar in. We are going to mix that well. And then we are going to add our melted butter. We will also mix this until all the graham crackers have been wet by the butter. I am going to take my moistened graham crackers and I am going to put it into a 10 inch spring form pan. And I'm going to use my hand and press this down to the bottom of the pan. If you do not have a spring form pan, you can use any 10 inch pie dish or baking dish you have. It does not have to be a spring form pan. Now that I have my graham cracker crust, evenly distributed in my pan, I will put it in a preheated oven at 325 for 10 minutes. To start our filling, we will put our cream cheese and both of our sugars into our mixer and we are going to mix the cream cheese and the sugars for about a minute or two until they get creamy. When you are making your cheesecake, have a spatula nearby so you can scrape down the sides of your bowl periodically so you can get everything mixed well. Now that our sugar and cream cheese have been creamed together, we will add our pumpkin puree. and we will mix for about another minute. Now we are going to add all of our spices and mix that well. Now we are going to add our vanilla and we're going to mix that in. Now that our vanilla is mixed, we are going to add our heavy cream. When I use my spring form pans, I always put a bigger baking dish underneath just in case if it leaks, my oven don't get dirty and it is easier to take it in and out of the oven with a bigger baking pan. 
now that our graham cracker crust has cooled we are going to put our pumpkin pie cream cheese mixture on top of it now that I have all my filling in my spring form pan and everything is evened out I am going to put this in a 325 degree oven for 40 to 45 minutes once my 45 minutes were up I turned off my oven and partially opened the oven door and let my cheesecake set in the oven for 10 minutes now my 10 minutes are up I will set it on the counter until it is cool now that my pumpkin pie cheesecake has cooled down to room temperature I will put it in the fridge for four hours covered now that our pumpkin pie cheesecake has been in the refrigerator for four hours you will take the outside of the spring form pan off and it is time to plate this pumpkin pie cheesecake would be delicious for an after dinner dessert or when you have friends over for tea. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment down below what you want to see me cook next, subscribe to my channel, and share with your friends. Thank you.